Recipes in baking specify the size of the baking tin you need to use such as a 9 inch round tin or an 8 inch square tin. This is really important as the size of the baking tin determines the baking time and the way the cake bakes. The most commonly used tins will be 8 inch square or 9 inch square or 8 inch round and 9 inch round tins when you start baking. Let's see how to measure a 9 inch round tin. So we place this uh, scale on the baking tin and measure it from this inside edge to this inside edge, not the outer edge because then that will also include the lip of the tin and also the thickness of the tin. So this measures about 9 inches from this inner edge to this inner edge. And to measure the height of the baking tin, place the ruler inside the uh, baking tin. Do not slant the ruler and then you can see that this height is about 2 inches. And now this square tin here. Same way, we just place the ruler here. And then, so this is about 8 inches here and if you would measure it this way, this would also be 8 inches across. So this is an 8 inch square tin and again to measure the height, just place the ruler here, do not slant it and this would be 2 inches in height. And I have an odd sized loaf pan here. So this measures 4 inches here and then about 8 inches this way. And to measure the height of the tin, the side is slanted but you shouldn't slant the ruler. This is approximately about 2 inches here. So this makes it a 8 by 4 by 2 loaf pan. And to measure a pan using a cup size measure, sometimes bundt pans are specified in cup sizes as in a 6 cup bundt pan or a 12 cup bundt pan. So we measure water into this pan directly. So I'm going to be pouring water into this and we'll place a ruler first to let us know when the pan is full to the brim. This bundt pan is now filled to the brim with water and this has taken 6 cups of water for me to fill it to the brim. So this is a 6 cup bundt pan. And when you're buying bundt pans, it's always advisable to go in for bundt pans from reputed brands like Wilton so that you get the exact measurement you need. And here we have a ramekin and uh, I have half a cup of water here. I'm going to be filling this with water. So this holds about half a cup of water. So this is a 120 ml ramekin. If buying baking pans online of reputed brands, then you could go by the dimensions listed on the site and you are safe. But if you'd be going to a store here and uh, buying a baking pan, better to carry a ruler so that you're sure about the dimensions of the pan you're going to be buying. So as much as possible, please try to use the size recommended in the recipe or the depth of the batter in the tin will vary and so will the baking time and the texture of the cake. If the cake tin you are using is larger than the size recommended in the recipe, then the depth of the batter will be lesser and the cake will bake faster. And if you'd be using a pan which is smaller than the size recommended in the recipe, the batter will be more deep and hence the cake will take longer to bake. But it's not always possible to find the pans of the exact dimensions specified in the recipe. So playing safe, you could always fill your cake tin halfway full with batter and never more than 3 foot full. But then please do always go by the recipe instructions. Coming up soon is my video, how much batter do I fill in my cake tin? There's lots more tips and lots more recipes coming up on Cakes and More. Please subscribe, please stay tuned.